Good morning, buenos dias. Today, Pastor John Jairo will share the message from Isaiah 11, 1 through 9. I'll read in English, and Javier will read in Spanish. Hear the word of the Lord. Del, hello. Del tronco de Isai brotará un retoño. Un vástago nacerá de sus raíces. El Espíritu del Señor reposará sobre él. Espíritu de sabiduría y de entendimiento. Espíritu de consejo y de poder. Espíritu de conocimiento y de temor del Señor. Él se deleitará en el temor del Señor. No juzgará según las apariencias, ni decidirá por lo que oiga decir. A shoot will come up from the stump of Jesse. From his roots, a branch will bear fruit. The spirit of the Lord will rest on him. The spirit of wisdom and of understanding. The spirit of counsel and of might. The spirit of the knowledge and fear of the Lord. And he will delight in the fear of the Lord. He will not judge by what he sees with his eyes or decide by what he hears with his ears. Sino que juzgará con justicia a los desvalidos y dará un fallo justo en favor de los pobres de la tierra. Destruirá la tierra con la vara de su boca, matará al malvado con el aliento de sus labios. La justicia será el cinto de sus lomos y la fidelidad el ceñidor de su cintura. El lobo vivirá con el cordero, el leopardo se echará con el cabrito, y juntos andarán el ternero y el cachorro de león, y un niño pequeño los guiará. But with righteousness he will judge the needy. With justice he will give decisions for the poor of the earth. He will strike the earth with the rod of his mouth. With the breath of his lips he will slay the wicked. Righteousness will be his belt, and faithfulness the sash around his waist. The wolf will live with the lamb, the leopard will lie down with the goat, the calf and the lion and the yearling together, and a little child will lead them. La vaca pastará con la osa, sus crías se echarán juntas, y el león comerá paja como el buey. Jugará el león, el niño de pecho junto a la cueva de la cobra, y el recién destetado meterá la mano en el nido de la víbora. No habrá ningún daño ni estrago en todo mi monte santo porque rebosará la tierra con el conocimiento del Señor como rebosa el mar con las aguas. The cow will feed with the bear, their young will lie down together, and the lion will eat straw like the ox. The infant will play near the cobra's den, and the young child will put its hand into the viper's nest. They will neither harm nor destroy on all my holy mountain, for the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. This, This is the, is the word, word of, of the Lord. Lord. Good morning, Renier Avenue Church. Buenos días, Renier Avenue Church. <laughs> It's my pleasure to be here in this morning. Y doy gracias a Dios por la oportunidad de compartir la palabra de Dios. I thank the Lord for the opportunity I have this morning to share the word of the Lord. Permítanme orar una vez más pidiendo al Señor que Él nos guíe durante este tiempo. Let's pray once more, asking God to lead us. Lord Jesus, here we are. We've worshipped you from the bottom of our hearts. We have sung in English and Spanish. We have heard the report of your amazing movement in other parts of the world. And now we open our minds. We want to hear from you, Jesus. So here we are. Will you speak to us? And will you give us responsive hearts? We pray this in your name. Amen. Amen. El 28 de agosto de 1963, desde las escalinatas del monumento a Lincoln, se pronunció un sermón que para muchos fue el mejor discurso del siglo XX. Las próximas tienes que hacer los más breves. <laughs> ok. <laughs> on August 28th of 1963, on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial Monument, there was a, a um, sermon that was preached that, was, that is considered by many around the world the best sermon, the best speak, speech of the 20th century. I have a dream. I have a dream. En este discurso, el doctor Martin Luther King habló a una enorme multitud. In this speech, Dr. Martin Luther King spoke to a large gathering. Él habló acerca de su anhelo de un mundo diferente. He, he spoke about this dream he had of a different world. Él habló acerca de un mundo en que la gente de diferentes razas 
coexistieran armoniosa, armoniosamente y como iguales. He, he preached, he talked, he dreamed of a place, of a time where people from different races would be together and they would be equal. Seguramente ese sermón generó muchas emociones ese día. I know that in, in that day, that sermon, that speech generated a ton of emotions. Generó un sentimiento de grandeza y de trascendencia. There was a, a feeling of greatness, of transcendence. Algunos posiblemente lo escucharon y pensaron que era una propuesta utópica. And some of them probably heard it and they thought it was a utopian thought. Y todo porque la propuesta del Dr. Martin Luther King era la de un mundo mejor, un mundo más bello. And all of it because the, the dream of Dr. Martin Luther King was, was a better world, a more beautiful world. Pues bien, yo también quiero en esta mañana hablar de un sueño. This morning, I also want to talk to you about a dream. Un sueño mucho más grande, trascendente y utópico. A, a, a bigger dream, a larger group, a, a dream that is even more transcendent and more utopic. Un sueño que vale la pena soñar. A, a dream that is worthwhile dreaming. Pero no es mi sueño But solamente. But that's not my dream. Es el sueño de Dios. It's the dream of God. Y quiero hablarles de eso, de Dios tiene un sueño. And I want to talk about that this morning. I want to tell you God has a dream. El texto que acabamos de escuchar, Isaías 11.9, nos presenta de manera encapsulada ese sueño. The, the um, scripture reading that was just read for us a few minutes ago, it's, it's a summary of that dream that God has. En primer lugar, este texto de Isaías 11 nos habla de que Dios sueña con un mundo justo. In this passage that was read for us from Isaiah 11, we, we read that God dreams of a just world. Es interesante la cantidad de veces que entre los versos 3 y 5 se usan palabras referentes a la justicia. There are quite a few words in, in that reading, just between the verses 13, uh, the verses 3 and 5, there are eight references to words that have to do with justice. Según esos versos, la expectativa de Dios con la venida del Mesías es un mundo justo. According to Isaiah, in this passage that we read, God's dream, God's expectation is a just word, world. El mundo, según Dios, debe disfrutar de relaciones correctas entre los seres humanos. According to God's dream, the world needs to have uh, right relationships between human beings. Es decir, el mundo debe disfrutar de, cada persona en el mundo debe disfrutar de respeto y dignidad. And, and the dream here in Isaiah is that every person in the world will enjoy dignity and the respect of others. Y no sobre la base de cómo se ven o qué tienen. And, and that's not based on what they look like or what they have sino sobre la base de quiénes ellos son. But on, on the basis of who they are. Cada uno es la imagen de Dios. Cada uno es la imagen Because de Dios. Because all of us reflect the image of God. Entonces cada uno debe recibir respeto y dignidad. And because of that, every one of us is, is worthy of respect and dignity. Y Dios sueña con ese mundo. Uh, and, and God dreams. That, that is God's dream for the world. El sueño de Dios es un mundo en el que las estructuras sociales son radicalmente transformadas para evitar la injusticia. The dream of God is that the social systems, the, 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 ¿qué dijiste? ¿Dónde estás? Son evitadas that, para evitar that the la injusticia. Structures, the social structures of this world are radically, the structures are transformed so that justice reigns. Un mundo en el que la opresión y la violencia no son toleradas. A world with, with, where oppression and violence are simply not tolerated. Especialmente cuando estas son contra el inmigrante, la viuda o el huérfano. Especially when these things are against the immigrant, the widow or the orphan. Y yo no sé ustedes, and pero I don't yo anhelo un mundo más justo. I, but, but I dream of a world like that, a more just world. Y Dios sueña con ese mundo a, a, también. And that's God's dream. God dreams of a world like that. Entonces debemos seguir soñando con eso. So we need to keep on dreaming that dream. Pero el sueño de Dios va más allá de un mundo justo. 
But the dream of God goes beyond a chess world. Cuando leemos los versos 6 al 9, encontramos algo maravilloso. When we read verses 6 through 9, we find something marvelous. Y encontramos que Dios sueña con una creación reconciliada. And, and we, we read that God dreams of a creation that is reconciled. Un mundo en que los seres vivos no se hacen daño entre ellos. A, a world where the living beings do not hurt each other. Estos versos nos presentan un cambio radical en el ecosistema. That, that's a radical change in the ecosystems. Un cambio en el cual no hay ni depredadores ni presas. A, a change where there are no predators nor prey. Un mundo en el que los leones se vuelven vegetarianos. This, this is a world where the lions become vegetarians. Dice que el león comerá paja. You, read, you heard it. The, the, the lion will eat straw. That's what the Bible says. Wow. That, wow. Algunos pensarán que eso es simplemente metáfora, no es literal. Some of them, some of you may think that's just a metaphor. That's not literal. Sin embargo, debemos recordar que a Dios le interesan todos los seres vivos. But, but we must remember that God is interested in, in all living beings. Yeah. No solamente los seres humanos, todo ser vivo. No, not just human beings, but all living beings. Por ejemplo, debemos recordar que en el diluvio Dios decidió salvar parejas de animales. We, we must remember that in the flood, God decided to save couples of animals. Y luego cuando salieron del arca hizo pacto con todos los seres vivientes. And when they came out of the ark, God made a pact, a covenant with all living beings. Además Jesús mismo dijo que el Padre alimenta a las aves. And Jesus himself said, my father feeds the birds. Y viste los lirios. And, and he dresses the, the lilies. Y el apóstol Pablo mencionó que la creación espera ser libertada. And, and the apostle Paul talked about creation being freed, being, being delivered, creation itself being delivered. Y en el Apocalipsis Juan menciona que Dios destruirá a los que destruyen la tierra. And in Revelations, at the end of the Bible, God says, the Bible says that God will destroy those who destroy the earth. Entonces Dios sueña con un mundo en el que los ecosistemas se han restaurado a su gloria original. So clearly God dreams of a world in which the ecosystems are um, se han restaurado a su gloria have been original. restored to God's original glory. Qué sueño tan precioso. That's a beautiful dream. Qué bueno cuando tenemos la oportunidad de ir y nadar en el mar y ver los arrecifes. How beautiful when we have the opportunity to go swim in the sea and see the reefs. Es una belleza. It's, it's beautiful. Pero lo estamos acabando. But we, we're destroying it. Y Dios sueña con que el mundo esté reconciliado. And God dreams with a world that is reconciled all around. Que cada ser vivo pueda disfrutar de su gloria. Where every living being can, can enjoy God's glory. Dios sueña con un mundo justo. God dreams of a just world. Dios sueña con una creación reconciliada. God dreams of a creation reconciled. Pero el final del verso 9 nos deja ver otra parte del sueño de Dios. But the end of verse 9 shows us some other piece of the dream that God has. Rebosará la tierra con el conocimiento del Señor. The church, the, 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 the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the Lord. Como rebosa el mar con las aguas. Like the water covers the sea. Dios sueña con un mundo lleno de él. God dreams of a world that is filled with him. En esta mañana hemos cantado que queremos estar en su presencia. This morning we have sung that we want to be in his presence. Y el sueño de Dios es que su presencia inunde este mundo. And, and God's dream is that his presence will enter this world. Que Dios, la presencia de Dios inunde Rainier Avenue. That, that the presence of God will, will inundate Rainier Avenue. Yes. 
inunde Seattle. Uh, that the presence of God will, will inundate, will flood todo les, Seattle. Todo el estado de Washington. The whole state of Washington. Es el sueño de Dios llenarnos de su presencia. That is the dream of God to fill us with his presence. Fuimos creados para esa presencia de Dios. We were created for that presence of God. El sueño de Dios. The dream of God. Es que podamos experimentar su presencia de manera profunda. Is that we will that we will experiment that we will experience his presence in a profound way. Y de hecho, este tercer aspecto del sueño de Dios. And, and in, in reality this third aspect of God's dream es la base de los dos asuntos anteriores. Is the base of the two first things that I mentioned. Solo un mundo donde Dios es conocido. Only a world where God is known. No solo de una forma informativa, pero experiencial, experimentativa. Not just in our heads, but in our experience. Solo en ese mundo. Only that world. Es posible la justicia y la restauración. Only in that world is possible to have justice and reconciliation. Este es el sueño de Dios. That is God's dream. Podemos decir que Dios sueña con un mundo completo. We could say that God dreams with a, with a, a complete world, a whole world. Un mundo pleno y en armonía. Un, a world, uh, an abundant world, a whole world, a harmonious world. Dios sueña con un mundo en paz. God dreams, God yearns for a world in peace. Un mundo en shalom. A world in shalom. Un mundo en el que su shalom no tendrá fin. A, a world where God's shalom will have no end. Pero ese sueño no es solamente expresado en Isaías 11. That, that dream is not just uh, written up in Isaiah 11. En verdad, es el mensaje de la Biblia. That is the message of the entire Bible. Al leer los primeros capítulos de Génesis, encontramos una bella historia. When we read the beginning in Genesis, we find a lovely story, a beautiful story. Y cuando leemos esos capítulos, al final solo suspiramos de añoranza and when we finish reading those verses those chapters we, we all yearn with, with something different porque leemos de un mundo pleno because we read of a whole world donde la experiencia humana vale la pena ser vivida where, where the human experience is worth living donde hay plenitud de la presencia de Dios where there is an abundance of the presence of God donde hay paz entre los seres vivos. Where there is peace among living beings. Donde hay justicia entre los seres humanos. Where there is justice among human beings. Y cuando llegamos al final de la Biblia. And when we get to the end of the Bible. Encontramos una nueva creación. We find a new creation. Cielos nuevos y tierra nueva. New heaven, new earth. Una vez el mundo, una vez más el mundo está completo. Once more the world is whole, is complete. Dios una vez más se hace plenamente presente. Once more God is completely present. Dice que él mismo los pastoreará en la Nueva Jerusalén. He says that he himself will shepherd us in the New Jerusalem. Es un mundo lleno de justicia y armonía. A world filled with justice and harmony. Yo espero que en esta mañana, al pensar en estas cosas, I hope that this morning, when you think about these things, usted haya suspirado de añoranza. That you are yearning yeah. with desire, yeah. with longing. Y usted se haya unido a la oración de Juan en el Apocalipsis. And that you are in your heart and in your mind uniting yourself to the prayer of John in Revelations. Ven, Señor Jesús. Come, Lord Jesus. Qué bello sueño el de nuestro Dios, ¿verdad? That, isn't that a great dream of our God? Es un sueño que vale la pena soñar. That is a dream that is worthwhile dreaming. Sin embargo, nuestro mundo vive una pesadilla. But in reality, our world is living a nightmare. Vivimos en un mundo de crisis política. We live in a world with political crises. Creo que para muchos de nosotros los últimos meses ha sido de tensión. The, for many of us, the last few months have been months filled with tension. La tensión de ver cómo 
la proximidad de la guerra parece acercarse a nosotros. The, the tension that, to, to realize that the proximity, that war is, is getting closer and closer to us. Por otra parte, nuestro mundo actual es un mundo de crisis económica. And our world today is a world of economic crisis. Posiblemente una de las más fuertes de las últimas décadas. Possibly one of the strongest ones of the last decades. Vivimos en un mundo de una inflación rampante. We live in a whole world of inflation, fast inflation. Y a pas, a, al paso de esa inflación lo que queda es miseria. And when that inflation works itself out as it, in, in, its, in its wake, inflation leaves miseria, misery, hambre, hunger, pobreza, poverty, y pobreza extrema, and extreme poverty. Pero no solamente crisis política y crisis económica. But not only political crisis and economical crisis. Vivimos en un mundo de crisis social. We live in a world of a social crisis. En cada continente vemos olas de migrantes. In every continent there are waves of immigrants. Personas abandonando su tierra por causas, múltiples causas. Uh, people who are li leaving their land over, over, over multiple different reasons. Buscando un mundo mejor. L looking for a better world. Y muchas veces donde llegan, no hay una respuesta para ellos. And often when they arrive where they are going, there is not an answer for them. Definitivamente el mundo vive una pesadilla. Really, the world is living a nightmare. Pero en este mundo oscuro, hay buenas nuevas. But in this dark world, there is good news. Hay buenas nuevas para la Iglesia Renier Avenue en esta mañana. There are good news for, for Free Method, for Rainier Avenue Church this morning. Dios tiene un sueño. God has a dream. Y ese sueño se cumplirá. And that dream of God will become reality. Porque cuando Dios sueña, no sueña una posibilidad. Because when God dreams, He just doesn't dream a dream, a possibility. Perhaps. El sueña una realidad. God, when God dreams, he dreams reality. Yeah. Isaías 11 no dice que de pronto eso va a pasar. Isaiah 11 says that that is going to happen. Dice que el mundo será lleno. It says that the earth will be filled. Dice que él traerá justicia. It says that he will bring justice. Dice que la creación será reconciliada. He says that creation will be reconciled. No nos lo presenta como algo que pasará. It, it isn't que de pronto pasará. It, Sí lo presenta como, no, no, no lo presenta como algo que de pronto pasará. He's not talking about it as something that maybe, perhaps, it may happen. Sino como algo que ciertamente ocurrirá. But something that will happen. Podemos estar seguros, es un hecho. We can be sure, it, it's a reality. Entonces, mis queridos hermanos y hermanas. And so, my loved brothers and sisters. El primer desafío de la palabra para nosotros hoy. The first challenge from the word of God for us today. Es vivir en la esperanza del sueño de Dios. Is that we will live in the hope of this dream that God has. Y no en la angustia de la realidad que vivimos. And not in the, the anxiety of the world that we live in. Dios nos invita en esta mañana a echar fuera todo temor. God is inviting us this morning to throw away all fear, all anxiety. Porque aunque la pesadilla es una realidad actual. Because even though the nightmare is a current reality. El sueño de Dios es una realidad segura y eterna. The dream of God is a certain dream and an eternal dream. Amén. Amén. Sin embargo, hay más desafíos que nos presenta la palabra hoy. There are other challenges here. Y es el desafío de sumarnos al sueño de Dios. And it's the challenge that we need to join in this dream that God has. Henry Ford dijo lo siguiente. Henry Ford dijo, said what follows. <laughs> La visión sin ejecución es solo una alucinación. Vision without execution is just a hallucination. Entonces nuestro trabajo, nuestra responsabilidad es trabajar para 
que ese sueño de Dios se pueda ver. So our our challenge, our call is to work so that 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 dream of God becomes a reality. Nuestro trabajo es avanzar la obra de Dios. Our work, our Our responsibility is to advance the work of God. Millones de personas en este mundo quieren ver ese sueño hecho realidad. There are millions of people in this world that dream of that dream becoming a reality, that desire that to become a reality. Y yo quiero presentarles un ejemplo de lo que estamos haciendo en Latinoamérica. And I want to tell you just one example of what we are doing in Latin America. Tenemos el video, ¿verdad? Nestor, a 52-year-old man whom his friends call Tocoto, lives in Montevideo, the capital of Uruguay. When Tocoto was 19, he was part of a local church and helped in the construction of a church building in the Buceo neighborhood. However, after a few years, he walked away and began a life of drugs, alcohol, and debt, to the point that he ended up living on the streets. There he was cold, hungry, and kicked around. Dokoto felt that just like the prodigal son, he had wasted his inheritance, had fallen too deep, and there was no longer a chance for him. He felt like his whole life was empty and broken. In February 2022, Dorita and Teresa, two women aged 78 and 84, began to visit the park where Dokoto and other homeless people lived. They had attended a Disciples Making Disciples training at their church, Alto Refugio, and were looking for a person of peace. Week after week, they and other people from the church went to the park to share God's word with the homeless people hanging out there, to pray with them, and occasionally share food with them. In this way, a house of peace was established. In April, temperatures dipped down to 27 degrees Fahrenheit. This was unusually cold for Montevideo, and people stayed home. This set up Tokoto and his friends to experience the warmth of God's love. It happened one day when Tokoto was lying under a tree trying to get a little protection from the cold. He thought, those old women are not going to come here today. Who would come out in this cold? Just then, he looked up and in the distance saw the silhouette of those two women walking toward them in the middle of the inclement weather. Touched and impressed, he said, if this is not love, then what is? Tokoto says that through Dorita and Teresa, he saw God the Father who received him again as his son and embraced him with his love after 33 years of being lost. From that day on, God began to dramatically change Nestor's life. He no longer lives on the street. Now he happily carries the keys to an apartment he shares with his friend Eduardo. He has once again found a job in construction. He faithfully attends the House of Peace in the park and tells everyone he can about Jesus. Juancho, a co-worker on his new job, received Jesus thanks to his testimony. And Eduardo, who used to talk bad about God, now goes with him regularly to the House of Peace. Tocoto knows that he still has a long ways to go. He wants to give up wine and tobacco completely and serve the Lord. His life is being transformed. Hermanos y hermanas. My brothers and sisters. Es posible trabajar en el sueño de Dios. It is possible for us to work in God's dream. Y tú puedes sumarte al sueño de Dios hoy si no lo estás haciendo. And you can join in with God's dream today if you haven't. Tú puedes sumarte al sueño de Dios orando para que se cumpla. You can join in God's dream by praying that God's dream will become reality. Orando para que millones que aún viven en injusticia sean liberados. Praying that millions who live in injustice will be freed. Orando para que la creación sea reconciliada. Praying that that creation will be reconciled. Orando para que el mundo sea lleno del conocimiento de la gloria del Señor. Praying that the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the Lord. Toma en tus manos el reto de orar por el mundo en que vivimos. I 
accept in your hands this challenge to pray for this world that we live in. No pienses que es algo sin importancia. Don't think it's non important. La oración es el fundamento de la transformación. Prayer is the basis of any transformation. Y necesitamos que muchos estén orando. And we need that many, many will be praying. Pero tú también puedes sumarte al sueño de Dios de otra forma. But you can also join in God's dream in a different way. Tú puedes sumarte al sueño de Dios guiando a muchos a la obediencia de Cristo. You can join in with God's dream by leading others to meet and obey Jesus. Hay tantos en Seattle y sus alrededores que todavía no viven en una relación íntima con Jesús. There are so many in Seattle and surrounding area, uh, so many people who do not live in a, in a personal, intimate relationship with Jesus. Y tú puedes ser ese faro de esperanza para la oscuridad de sus and vidas. And you can be that lighthouse of hope for people who live in uh, lack of hope, with lack of hope. Tal como el doctor Martin Luther King dijo, I have a dream. Exactly like Dr. Martin Luther King said, I have a dream. Dios nos dice hoy, I have a dream. God says to you today, I have a dream. Él nos dice hoy, yo sueño con ese mundo justo que ustedes anhelan. I, God is saying, I dream with this just world that you also dream of. A mí también me duele la injusticia que les rodea. Uh, my heart aches when I see the injustice that you are surrounded. Y él by. sueña con el mundo reconciliado. And he dreams with a world that is reconciled. Y él sueña con ese mundo en el cual su shalom sea una realidad. And he dreams of a world where his shalom will be a reality. ¿Qué tal si nos unimos? So what about why don't we join? Y hacemos realidad. El sueño de Dios. And we become part in making this dream of God a reality. Oremos. Let's pray. Señor, gracias porque tú amas este mundo y tú sueñas, Señor, un gran sueño para este mundo. Y yo oro, Señor, que tú nos ayudes a unirnos a ese sueño mm. que ciertamente pasará. Mm. Lord Jesus, We, we hear of God's dream today. We, we catch it. We understand it. We, we, we dream that that dream will become a reality. Amen. Guide us. Show us how to join in with you. To accept this incredible invitation from the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings to participate with you in the redemption full redemption of our world. And we pray this with anticipation, with gratitude, and we pray this in the strong name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.